right, this week we're gonna try and get my 325 EFI Trailblazer running. So I've had this for a while, I've let it sit too long, and now when I go to start it up, nothing happens. So I've looked on some forums, talked to a couple guys I know who are pretty familiar with these, and we got a game plan of how to work with this. First, we are going to drain most of the old gas out of it, and I'll show you a trick that he showed me to do that. We're then going to check all of the connections for the fuel filters and whatnot. And we're gonna make sure that fuel is flowing to all the pumps. And then last thing we're going to do before we replace those, if they're bad, is put some gas in the intake to see if it starts there. So let's get to it. Alright, so what we're going to do is start to siphon this gasoline out of this to get all the old gas out. And the way we're going to do that is take a board with a hole drilled in it, place it over top, feed some air into it to pressurize the system and pull it out. And what I'm going to do is disconnect one of these hoses, put it into my gas can, and we'll let it drain out until we get most of the gas out or until my cans are full. So let's do it. So you can see once we actually got the gas flowing a little bit, it continues to flow. So kind of siphoning 101 out of this tank and hopefully it'll keep running until it's about empty. But if not, I'll repressurize it and we'll go from there. All right, so we just siphoned all the gas out of here. I got some new premium and I just went through and checked all the connections going to all the pumps and I am getting gas to flow through, flow to here flowing out of the low pressure pump and going into the high pressure pump but there's nothing coming out of the high pressure pump so I've got a replacement pump here we're going to swap these out and hopefully this will take care of that issue um, I also put a little bit of fuel took the air filter off, filter off and poured a little bit of fuel down the intake and it started right up for about a second so I'm guessing this is the problem. It's probably clogged up. And the guy that I talked to about this said, and I don't know if you can hear closely, but if I flip this upside down, you hear that little ball kind of bouncing back and forth. So what he's thinking is that because I had the wrong gas in here and it sat for a while, is that that ball is stuck. And it's probably the reason why this is not getting any fuel to the motor and why this won't start. So we're gonna go ahead and take this apart. You gotta be very careful with this, which is what he told me. You pop this gray pin up, pull this off easy, and then we take this and this fuel line off, and then we will undo the three bolts, take this crimp connector in the back off, and then we will do the opposite to put it back on. So let's see if this works.
All right, so we got everything hooked back up. Now we need to fill the bowl. So what we're gonna do is turn the ignition on, but not start the motor. And we will hopefully see fuel moving through these filters. So let's see what happens. All right, now we got some fuel coming in. exciting so what I'm gonna do now that we got this running is let it continue to run for about 20 or 30 minutes you can see it's blowing some dark gas or exhaust out right now just because the gas is bad we're gonna let it cycle through and clean up and then I'm gonna do a few welds with it just to put some stress on the internals electrically since it hasn't ran for a while but you know, we got it figured out, super happy with it. Big thanks to my buddy Joel for getting me that pump. And man, we're back, we're back up and running. This is gonna be good. So if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, let me know. But like always, like the video, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.